Just a quick word on the monitoring and principles of management of uh, patients with vascular EDS. Um, the primary objective uh, of patient management would be uh, to uh, protect the patient as much as possible, uh, to ensure him optimal access to medical care and uh, not to impair his quality of life by treatments or uh, excessive uh, contact with uh, the medical core. Uh, to achieve this, uh, the, all patients should uh, have a dedicated multidisciplinary care team that has significant experience and expertise in managing these kinds of patients. Uh, dedicated expert centers do exist throughout Europe uh, and are, are being organized already. Uh, patients could also or should also have emergency cards to be uh, shown to our ER room's physicians uh, to uh, make them understand the type of the disease they have and the specific needs uh, that are uh, uh, that they have. Sorry. Patient monitoring uh, is an important question. Um, monitoring is uh, important uh, due to the severity of the, the disease, the evolut evolutive potential of arterial defects. It has to be adapted individually. Uh, the means of monitoring uh, would be duplex ultrasound, a CT scan or MRA, uh, depending on the country and type of medical or care system, uh, these types of uh, surveillance should be adapted. Uh, of course, uh, a, a clinically silent patient uh, does not have the same monitoring needs than a patient that has had uh, a recent uh, arterial complication. Also, a patient that has uh, uh, evolving arterial defects uh, uh, does not have the same needs um, in arterial monitoring than a patient, uh, than a teenage uh, young lady without any arterial complication. So, all these points have to be taken into consideration uh, for monitoring patients. Um, it might be a, a 1.5 year uh, monitoring. Uh, Delay might be uh, the most uh, uh, standard or uh, way to organize this uh, or to uh, standpoint for uh, or starting point, sorry, for vascular monitoring in these patients to be adapted uh, according to all these variables. Uh, medical treatment in vascular EDS uh, is uh, mainly destined to maintain blood pressure within the normal range and to avoid surges in blood pressure uh, that may increase uh, arterial stress. Of course, there is a high, uh, a high array of uh, cardiovascular medications that is available for this purpose. Uh, and to date, only one clinical trial addressed specifically the reduction of arterial events uh, with Celprolol uh, with uh, promising or interesting results. Um, you, know, you have here the survival curve uh, following the BBAS trial on a long-term 17-year follow-up of patients being treated with Celprolol versus those that, have, that are not being treated and that indicate uh, the p potential interest of this drug, which is, uh, on the other hand, very well tolerated and undangerous for patients. The uh, treatment of arterial ev events is medical in most uh, instances. Uh, because most of the arterial uh, accidents are dissections uh, that do not require uh, any specific intervention besides transient anticoagulant therapy or antiplatelet therapy. In the case of arterial rupture, any means necessary may be adapted. Of course, embolization or minimally invasive uh, intervention is always preferable uh, to open surgery. Um, vascular surgery itself is possible, but is associated with increased morbidity. And the best situations would be uh, arterial repair uh, in programmed uh, situations and not in emergency situations. The treatment of bowel perforation is uh, uh, surgical. Um, most patients would require a surgery, and uh, that would be a Hartmann's procedure, would be a hemicolectomy with colostomy. And uh, given the high risk of reperforation uh, after the first colonic rupture, uh, subtotal colectomy um, may be discussed uh, for some patients. Thank you very much for your attention.